Hey guys, Mark the Chef here, and today I'm in the kitchen with Scott from Welcome Home Beef. He's brought in an awesome cut of beef. He's gonna tell me a little bit about it, where it comes from, and uh, how he best cook it. So, Mr. Scott, thank you for coming in today. Thank you for having me, Mark, and it's an honor and a pleasure to be here. We have got a piece of picanha today. Picanha comes from top sirloin, mm -hmm. and it's basically the cap from a top sirloin. In America, we call it the top butt cap. A lot of people, when they think of sirloin, they think of chewy. Yeah. Not the case with this beef. So you mentioned you make this at home for you and your family. How do you go about preparing it? You can cut the fat cap off of it, but what we do at home is we like to just score the fat. That way the seasoning gets down in there, makes a nice presentation. Okay. It's a really flavorful, tender sirloin. So what I'm gonna do now is just kind of put a little salt and pepper on this. Okay. So we're just seasoning this liberally on both sides? You bet. Now it's time to sear, and so this is kind of my area of expertise, I like to say. So I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon or so of olive oil. A good tip is to lay the beef away from you or whatever you're using, because if the olive oil were to splash, it would splash up away from you. Instead, if you were to lay it towards you, it might hit you, damage your clothes, or even hurt your person. I have this on medium to medium high heat, and I'm just gonna let it sit for three to four minutes or until the fat cap separates from the pan itself and has a beautiful golden crust. Nice, it smells delicious. It does smell delicious. Let's go ahead and flip it. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that looks perfect. We got it to a nice, beautiful color, which is exactly what we're looking for. The more color on the beef, the better it's gonna taste. Notice how it's like getting plump mm -hmm. while you're cooking yeah. it. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. That's exactly what we want. So one thing I like to do on my beef is I like to sear as many sides as I can because yep. more color equals more flavor. So all I'm doing is holding up on the side of the beef until it sticks to the pan, and then I'm gonna let it chill for another minute or two. You're making just me to hungry. Sear it. And hopefully in the end, you shouldn't be hungry. It's gonna be delicious. <laughs> this looks done to me. All the sides are seared. Let me turn off the heat. And I'm gonna go ahead and take an internal temperature because I wanna see how much longer we have to go. Okay. It's coming off about 83 degrees or so. So what that tells me is it's gonna need 20 to 30 minutes of cooking in a 350 degree oven. So I'm just gonna take the pan with the meat in it, fat cap up, and I'm just gonna place it in the oven. Okay, Mr. Scott, we just pulled out of the oven. So to prevent any further cooking as much as possible, I'm gonna place it on this cutting board, let it rest for a few minutes. Yeah, and the reason why you want to let it rest for a few minutes is basically when it when you pull it out and it's super hot, uh, if you cut it right then, a lot of your juices are just going to run right out. If you'll let it rest, it'll actually settle those juices, they go back to where they're supposed to be, and then you're going to really enjoy it because after you sit there and watch it for 10 minutes <laughs> resting, you're going to get more and you more are. hungry. You are. Okay, Mr. Scott, it's rest for about 10 minutes. Uh, it stopped steaming. Uh, so is it ready to slice? Absolutely, let's get into it. Okay. Looks like you did a great job. Notice it's got grains right here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna cut against that grain. We're just gonna have this kind of campfire style here. Looks amazing. You it sliced does. it perfectly thin. Yep. And you can see the pull test passes great. Mm. This is delicious. One of my favorite parts of any type of steak is the seared fat, and so the fat cap on top was nice and thick when we cooked it, but when we seared it off, we got a lot of that fat, so it's just the perfect amount. It is incredibly juicy. Uh, the flavor actually penetrated throughout the whole steak. Scoring it truly helps a whole lot. It's economical, it is delicious, uh, it's fairly large, yeah. and in, it's as tender as a filet, you know, it is. It is. It is awesome. You know, for 22 or $3, you get a really great piece of beef mm -hmm. and I uh, feed a whole family with it. Everything that you get from us I truly think you're yeah. gonna enjoy. So where can I get picanha and other awesome cuts of beef like this? To my knowledge we're the only place available in this area that has picanha. You can just contact my brother or sister Will Sanders or Leslie Sanders and the number's right there on the screen. Well thank you for coming in today. Thanks for having me we enjoyed it.